Guys, I know, you don't have to tell me in the comments, I am terrible at making series. Every time I start a series, I get like two episodes in, and I end it. I know, it's like, it's like my designated stereotype. Like, I'm always just bad at making series. But as of today, I am a changed man. And as of today, I am bringing back Dark RP Rags to Riches, remastered episode number one. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the old Dark RP Rags to Riches series, but just in case you do not, this is a series where I work my way up the ranks in order to become rich on the server. So as of right now, I'm starting with $32,000, and you know, by the end of this series, we may be at a million or two million or whatever we end up as, because again, the goal of this series is to work our way up the ranks. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as of today, we are on a server known as Ice Cube, or Ice... Ice Cube? I think it's Ice Cube. Ice Fuse. Okay, we're on a server known as Ice Fuse. And it's actually like a super customized Dark RP server, kind of different from all the other ones I've seen. And hopefully because of that, it'll allow us to continue this series longer. But we need to get started with making some money. Now, apparently I have played on this server before because I'm a level 4 and I have $32,000, but I really don't remember it, and obviously I didn't go too far. So I guess to get started today, we're going to start out by being a moonshiner. That sounds interesting. Times are tough and money's hard to earn. Make a name for yourself by making the best alcohol available. I'm going to become a moonshiner. I've never heard of a moonshine mod. I got Seriously, I have to join their group first. That's stupid. Wow, how does this group have 84,677 members? I don't know. Maybe it's because they force you to join it if you want to play on their servers. That's pretty stupid. Now I'm gonna get a bunch of announcements, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do to become a moonshiner. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna be a moonshiner. I joined your Steam group! Anyways, let us try to become a moonshiner. I- Oh my god, I'm in your Steam group. Why- Oh my- hmm. Okay, now it- Now it registered and it gave me money. So, let's try to become a moonshiner. Wow, look at that. First try. Now we're a moonshiner. Man, that was retarded. So now that we have our job, it's time to find somewhere to live. I want to live somewhere where I don't get raided or bothered every five seconds, but the good thing about a server like this is that that doesn't really happen that much. Any server on like the regular downtown map, you get bothered all the time, but I think with this server being custom, I think that will be good. Okay, so if I go in here, I wonder if this would be a pretty good place to make some moonshine. It definitely looks cool. Uh, there's like a little room over here, like a bathroom type thing, and then I don't know how big these entities are, so let me actually, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this real quick, and I'm gonna lock the door just to see if I have enough room to actually do this in here. So if I buy a distillery, oh, uh, that's pretty big, but I think it may work. I probably have to purchase something. Oh wait, so I think I have to grow this before I can use the moonshinery, and then I can distill it. So I'm going to have to grow it with pots first, and then I can throw it in there and make it. Okay, this is pretty interesting. If I buy that, oh, it's so small. Uh, if I buy that, and then I buy some dirt, and then I buy some grain. I hope that makes enough to make a batch. I don't want to have to have like 30,000 of these things. Oh my gosh, this is triggering me. Oh my gosh. I'm getting triggered. This isn't working. My OCD is actually killing me right now. Guess I'm gonna have to do this like the the sideways way or something. Apparently plants can grow sideways now. Ugh. I don't know how any of this stuff works. <laughs> oh, what'd I do? The barrel disappeared. It's one of these things. I think these go on top of here. Ah, look at that, boys. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we're we're getting we're getting there. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're getting there now. Uh I guess I still have to add the grain. Is this done? It's done! Now I... Ugh! <gasps> we figured it out, boys. I still don't know what this thing is, but we figured it out. Okay, so I think I'm starting to figure out how this works. I think you need both types of crops. You throw them both in here, fill this stuff up, and then you can start making it. Now, again, I have no idea what this thing is. It's probably not even for this job, so I probably wasted my money on it. But, uh, yeah. I think we're starting to figure this out. So let's go ahead and buy some seeds for both of these. Oh, come on. Please tell me. I, could... I just spent all this time. Turns out you also need water. 
I figured this out because I was trying to put it on the plants to see if they'd grow faster, but if I throw it in here, it fills up the bar. Which makes sense, I guess you would need water to make alcohol. Uh, yeah, we're going places, boys. Can I do this now? Oh. Oh, okay. It just blew up. God dang it. Okay, well that's fun. I don't understand why it blew up, but we bought another one. Our stuff's done at least, so we can do this again. And I guess maybe I'm... Like, I don't... You can't take the barrel off. So I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with the barrel. Cause it, or maybe I just stop it and then it finishes or something? I don't even know. This is so confusing to me. Guys, I think we're very bad at this job. I'm stuck now. Excuse me. God dang it. Oh my god. I'm on the ground. I'm literally almost dead on the ground. I think we are the world's worst moonshine cook of all time. We are literally the world's... <laughs> we are literally the world's worst moonshine cook of all time. <laughs> what is going on? This is ridiculous, dude. We are so bad. <laughs> Guys, I think we should probably stick with an easier job. Moonshining is a, is a dangerous job. And I don't think we should keep doing it. Because that was... That was bad. Well, um... Let's try something else. Yeah, I don't think that worked very well. Let's see, there's a coca plant farmer. Um, you can grow the best coca plants around. Opium. You cook the best opium around, and there's a meth cook. We're gonna go with the coca plant farmer. Maybe we'll have better luck this time, because obviously last time did not work out very well for us. And we're still at less money than we originally started with. <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing in there, look. I'll open the door for you. Merry Christmas. Take all, all right. the stuff you want, because I just right. died. <laughs> I mean, I tried. So, yeah, A for effort. Alright, have a good one. <laughs> I'm honestly depressed. Like, this is the worst. I can't take it! How am I dying? How did I... Oh, I'm sorry. I ran into a flower pot and I died. A plant pot, yeah. I just ran into a fan. <sighs> so, I guess with this one, there's levels of plants and then a lab desk. Now, these plants are expensive. So, I'm going to start with the level one plant. Wow, that is so pretty. Beautiful. And I guess I click it. The timer's... Maybe I need a lab desk to grow plants. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, beautiful. A, a lab desk that I literally cannot use. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got this. Huh. Huh. Okay, so we gotta put the plants on the desk to grow them. They are an exclusive type of plant that only grow on a desk, apparently. Okay, I think we got this now. So if I buy another desk, and then I grab one more plant, and then just set it on top of the desk like this. Crap. <laughs> okay, so this one's almost done. It's at 5, the other one's at 46 seconds. Unfortunately, I can only own two of these tables at a time, so that's kind of depressing. But if I click on this, I've sold your coca plant to the highest bidder for $1,132. So I have $1,100, and now we're at 29000 Okay, this is actually interesting. It's like a really easy job. All you have to do is buy a plant, let it sit there, and then harvest it, and you get money from it. Done. This one we sold for $1,164. Okay, I could get used to this job. This isn't bad at all. $2,600 from one plant. I will take that. Oh my god, seven grand. $7,000. You have to be kidding me. This is insane. If only you could own more than two of these at a time, I would be absolutely loaded. That is crazy. Oh, no! No, no. No, oh my gosh, dude. I knew I was getting rid <laughs> I knew I was getting raided, and I was like, I was like, crap, I was standing by the door listening, and I was gonna run over and grab my coca plant, but I ran the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, God. 
I was trying to run the other direction to grab my coca plane. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Now, again, I don't understand what that little scream was. I, I've never screamed like that in my life. I probably scared off my family members and I'm home alone now. But I'm not complaining. Again, there's a lot going on and it's time to build a new base. So I'm going to try to find somewhere to build a secret base if possible. Like a little cranny on the map that nobody sees and I can build a base. Now if I can't find one of those, which is probably going to be the case, then I'm just going to try to find a normal location, uh, but somewhere that's kind of like out of the ordinary. Now this is looking promising. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. I mean there is a guy right there, but I feel like I can find somewhere decent if I go over in this direction. There's these little houses which are probably too, like, noticeable. So, I wonder if I can set up a base behind these rocks. Sir, we don't know. Who would like to ask what's going on here? What's going on here? I saw a dude Let's making meth. Young gentleman is telling me just like to ask what's going on here? Just chilling. He's making meth. Oh, he's making meth. Okay. Okay, wait, we got a code 2 here. I, I'm not sorry, making meth. I'm not under arrest, but we just want to ask where you... I know, I know. We're, we're not. You're not under arrest. We just want to do some questioning. Have you seen a red cop car? We are trying to locate it. Uh, no, I have not. Did he really have to handcuff me for this? I right, thank you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> he handcuffed me. He goes, have you seen a red cop car? And I'm like, no. He's like, okay, bye. <laughs> Was that necessary? Guys, I think we may have found the perfect grow house right here. This is beautiful. Um, somebody owns this house, so I can't mess with the actual house, but with the grow house right here in the little shed, I will 100% do that. Now I just want to wait till this cop leaves because he's gonna like, probably come over here again. Well, it is finally time to give this another try. We've had terrible luck, but I see this as being a profitable job, and if our luck improves, we may be able to make some money. Okay, so we're finally set up, and I just realized something. I'm probably going to get roasted in the comments, like, for my stupidity, okay? I am so dumb, I worry about myself sometimes. I've been over here spawning in one plant per table, right? You could probably spawn in more than one- god dang it. You can probably spawn in more than one plant per table. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. You can use multiple plants per table. Why did I not realize this? Oh my gosh, guys, I am so dumb. Why did I not think this through? It's such a common sense thing. Dang it, dude. But now is the time where we go on the grind. I am 100% not leaving this place until we're at at least forty or $50,000. And now that I kind of lost some of my stupidity and realized that you can do it multiple at the same time, maybe this will actually go a little bit faster. I feel so stupid. They gon' try to stop me, try to what? Try to copy, try to take my chain, and I might just catch a body in the Maserati. I might have to get it sloppy. Yeah, I knew some hating bitches, so I had to drop them. Saw some fire clothes, so the tags I had to pop them. Studio, hit me up, you can slide too. Yeah, but you gotta bring the dough and the rhymes too. At the top, looking around, I can't find you. Yeah. They say this guy be the limit. Oh my gosh, no, I'm, I'm not so timid, so patient to my neck and wrist frigid. No limits, no limits. They asking how we living, none your business, man. They steady fibbing, throw some fans up on the ground. Now that I'm not stupid, and I realize that you can actually have more than one plant on a table, that went really fast, actually. And I was gonna keep going, but I actually need to uh, go get some food. Now, I did see a vending machine. There we go. Whenever I was uh, coming over here, I did see a vending machine. So I'm gonna head back over that direction. I believe it was, um, I think it was right here. So I'm gonna head south to that point and try to find that vending machine. Because I, oh, there's one right here, Never mind. That was a lot easier than I thought it was. Okay, so we're gonna go to the vending machine. Um, and our food's at 24%, so let's just grab a bunch of Chinese food. 33%, 43%, and there we go. Now we're at 100%, and we can go back to our base and go through one or two more rounds of plant growing. And would you look at that, $65,345 just from selling some coca plants. I think the final thing that we're going to do in today's episode is purchase a weapon, and then we're probably going to end it off and continue in the next episode. 
So there's no point in me staying in this job anymore. Uh, it's a long walk back, so I'm just gonna change jobs and respawn back at the area. So if we become a... Let's just become a security guard just for now. It's just a simple job to put us back at spawn and despawn all of our items. And the final thing that we're gonna do, as I said, is look for a gun store and purchase a gun where we can protect ourselves. There is so much cancer going on right now. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Now this is pretty cool. They actually list the guns for sale outside. I like it. Now there is a ton of cancer and lag going on, so I apologize because there's like 150 people on this server and it just got a lot more cancerous after the restart. But I think we're gonna go ahead and purchase one of these. Now there's some like snipers down here. I don't really want any of those. Uh, some more over here and then there's a pistol. And then this direction, these are like AKs or something. I think we're going to purchase one of these. There's M1918 bars, $4,850. So let's go ahead and add one of these bad boys and check out. And I don't know if it puts it in my inventory or probably in my pocket, I would assume. I actually have no idea how to get access to my... Oh, there it is. I almost just lost that. It was just sitting on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't realize that, but now I have it in my inventory. That was actually terrifying. I almost just wasted my money. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this up. I need to drop it on the ground and then put it in my inventory, but I don't want anybody to take it. It's definitely a nice gun. I like it. I feel like it's going to come in handy, but it is not good for it to stay in my inventory and then end up going away. So we're putting that bed... So we're putting that bad boy in my pocket, and now if I open up my pocket, there it is. Now I don't know if it stays in my pocket because there's no like inventory pickup, but I think that's how it works on this server. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for the first episode of Dark RP Rags to Riches Remastered. Don't worry, I promise you, I will continue this series, and I'm not going to leave it off like I did with all the other ones. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.